Dear Minister Varank, dear Mr. Pluim, dear Mr. Kilic, thank you very much for having me today. I think uh, we should all be pleased to see that we can celebrate something, something major, something that changes the life of the people on the ground. And we are doing that. And we are delivering for the people on the ground. Uh, because this enhancer project, we have been able to provide help to small and medium-sized enterprises, meaning people who are employing themselves, meaning family businesses. With this help, we're bringing 32.5 million euros in funding. And this is capital that should boost their economic activities or help them to establish one. Because through this, through the implementation of the project, together with the uh, ICMPD, and of course in co close cooperation with our partners in the Ministry of Industry and Technology, we are funding this project to boost the economy on the ground, to bring new jobs, new growth opportunities for Syrian refugees and Turkish people alike. In practice, this means that we have 300 new businesses established only under this program. We have created 1,200 new jobs, sustainable jobs. And with this, we have created further business opportunities and livelihood for 400 entrepreneurs. This is only the beginning, because we are planning for more. And I do hope, with this new approach that we are establishing through this program, and this new development uh, of businesses, new way of development of businesses, we can do much more uh, in the next year. In this, in this context, I want to recall that this project is part of our uh, 465 million euros engagement uh, for so socioeconomic recovery and development within the framework of the EU-Turkey facility. We will remain committed to the businesses and we will remain committed to support these entrepreneurs and also the innovation that they can create. And we think that with this, we can trigger some healthy competition within Turkey and we can help to bring the jobs locally. So you have seen the map. We are not only talking about Ankara and Istanbul or Izmir, but we are talking about rural areas where jobs are harder to create and harder to maintain. And we are determined also to demonstrate our continued solidarity with Turkey because they are hosting one of the largest refugee population in the world. So far, the EU has mobilized close to 10 billion euros in support for the refugees and the host communities alike. And our cooperation will continue, and Turkey can count and should count on this cooperation in the future. I think this project and uh, this uh, little celebration that we will have today will also anchor uh, our long-term commitment and cooperation and ways uh, in which we can create growth and jobs uh, for the benefit of both the EU and Turkey. Thank you very much.